This is a Monday armadillo, and pretty much all armadillos you see today are going to look roughly like this. But if we were around, say, 50 million years ago, we could have made a house out of an armadillo. There were some that were that big. They came in all shapes and sizes. Being a member of the same family as sloths, anteaters, stuff like that, they evolved in what is now South America when it was split off from the rest of the world. That's why some of them were as big as a rhino, had large club tails, and as you're about to find out, there was one species that actually ate meat, and its name was Macrioeufractus. That's a pretty cool name. Macrioeufractus was no little bo peep either. Some specimens are estimated to have weighed over 200 pounds, bigger than a pretty heavily built man. And this wasn't just a carnivore in the sense that if it found something that was dead it would eat it or it would eat bugs. This was a true hyper carnivore. It hunted and killed. It had many adaptations for this. It would have had large crushing jaws and teeth that were more like that of a dog for catching prey and tearing it open. Try to imagine a wolf with a shell on its back. It kind of looked like that. But not really, it was very weird looking. And since armadillos tend to be quite good diggers, it had retained these features, so it would have been able to dig up a burrow and eat a small rodent that's hiding in there with its family. Pretty terrifying, imagine waking up to that. This vicious armadillo managed to live alongside ferocious enemies and would have still been an apex predator despite terror birds being in the vicinity, which were three meters tall. It would also have to compete with Sparacidonts, which were these almost pseudo-marsupial saber-toothed mammals. Say that three times fast. And it pretty much didn't care. As these species declined, it remained strong and it spread out all over South America. Pretty much until the land bridge formed between North America and South America and stuff like the true saber-toothed cats, canines all came down. And I guess they were a bit too much for it to handle. So, thank you all for watching. Remember, next time you see an armadillo, give it some respect. Please don't wear it on your head. Thank you all for watching. Like this video if you did, share it with a friend, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.